trash man is behind me picking up oops, trash, which is great, but let's see if I can do this. Oh, Lord. Not like I'm going to hit him, but I don't want to hit him. So anyway, good morning, guys. Uh, today is Monday, September 11th. Um, I have been filming for the past, I think it's been a good week and a half, but it's been so disjointed. Like I haven't started or ended the vlog very consistently. I'll film things that I think you guys would like to see and then I don't like give any context to it. Oops. Oh, sorry. Uh, so I figured I'm just going to start and end all those random clips. Oops, you guys can't even see me. Ooh. There we go. <laughs> but I figured I would just go ahead and start and end um, my random clip vlog today. Uh, that way I can get all that stuff edited for you guys and we can start fresh. Um, reason why I was so disconjointed was because when I first started filming, um, I was coming out of a pretty bad week, um, just feeling wise, and then uh, it's just been all over the place because it's been my birthday week this past week, so I've been doing stuff on and off, and it's just been bonkers. You think I'd film more? No, I, I like film in intermittently. So, on that note, hi guys, I hope you're having a great day. I hope you enjoy my series of random clips. And on that note, <laughs> let's dive into the vlog. Hi everybody. So I went shopping for my birthday and I wanted to show you guys this. I bought it at TJ Maxx and it was only 10 bucks, but I'm gonna put bath bombs in here. What? You bought it at Home Goods. I bought it at Home Goods. It's like the same thing. Okay, this is for bath bombs. It's really not. But look at this big bag. So I treated myself for my birthday. So I wanted to show you guys what I got because I like watching Lush Hall. So I have to start off these four little bags which are just so yummy and I only bought bath bombs so I got a mixture of old stuff and new. So this one is Butterball. It's so good. This one is just, if you guys like being moisturized, this one's delicious. Dude, I'm gonna put that away. And then I got this one, it's a new one, and I don't remember what it's called, but it's supposed to be a newer version of the Butter Ball, but it's supposed to be even more moisturizing is what they told me. It just smells so good. Sorry, you guys are gonna have to watch me smell bath bombs. Okay, and then I got this new one, which is Metamorphosis, so it has glitter in it. Then when you put it in your bath, it'll actually change your bath different colors, even though it's gray. And this one's more spicy. This is the spiciest bath bomb I've ever gotten from Lush, and I'm so excited. So I have a question. Yeah. If it has glitter, does that mean you're gonna come out of the tub with all glitter all over yourselves? Pretty much. That's that's not that's no bueno. I, I don't I don't need I don't need glitter in certain places of my body. You're a cameraman right now. You're not supposed to be. I can comment all commentary. I want. All I want. Anyway. That's what happens when you get me as a cameraman. <laughs> Last one in the single bags is this guy. This is just uh, one of the classic ones that I think, I can't remember what it's called. I forget. Um, but just one of the older ones. And then because Lush is getting rid of so many bath bombs coming up soon, I don't know if you guys know that, they're getting rid of a lot. So a lot of their gift sets are gonna be going away. So in this big bag, I also have this guy which is a little massive. Um, so in this, there's four bath bombs. How, how much did you spend at Lush? It doesn't matter. How much? 100 bucks? A little under. Oh, that's not bad. No, um, I got, this was on sale. I'm gonna cut this out. Why? <laughs> I don't know. I spent, okay, I spent under 100 bucks. So Metamorphosis was eight ninety nine. Uh, this one, oh, you know what, you guys? I have a receipt. I can tell you what they're called. Yeah, Metamorphosis was 
So this little gray one here was $8.95. This yellow one is called Cheer Me Up Buttercup and it's $5.95. The Butterball, which was the little white one that I showed you first, is the $6.95, is $4.95. And then this purple one that I couldn't remember the name is Twilight. And that one is $6.95. And then I got this one, which is a gift set. And this gift set was $39.95. But in this one, it's a better value if you guys get the gift sets because there's five things in here. So, I'm gonna open it. Not effectively. Do you want a knife? No, I don't need a knife. You want a knife? No. You want a knife? No. Look, you just untie it. It's not that difficult. Look, see? There. Done and done. How'd he use the knife? Oh, it smells so good. Like, just so good. Okay, so there's packing peanuts, which are awful. Um, okay, so the first thing that's in here, it's at the top, is the Big Bang Bubble Bar. See it? The Big Bang, this thing. So this is the Big Bang Bubble Bar. I'm not the biggest fan of bubble bars, but this one smells really good. Big Bang Bubble Bar. And this one um, has avocado butter, grapefruit oil, and mirth. Let's put that in there. And then the next thing is a icy baby bot bath bomb. It's a baby bot, how cute. So it looks like this. It's lavender, chamomile, and sandalwood. This one doesn't really have a smell. Smell. <laughs> but so cute, baby robot. Okay, and then we have uh, this big old bath bomb here. And this is the Experimenter Bath Bomb. This one smells good. This one has um, popping candy. Oh, this is, this one you put in the bath and it's supposed to like fizzle and pop and stuff. I'm really excited. So I'll, I'll let you guys know how that goes <laughs> with the popping candy. And then we only have two more. So we have another Twilight, which is good because I really like these ones. I already smelled it, but I'm gonna smell it again. And then lastly, we have one in here that I've never tried. It's intergalactic bath bomb. Intergalactic? Yeah. Intergalactic planetary. This one um, has um, velvet and cedar wood. That's my, everything I got at Lush today. So I wanted to show you guys that. Oh, and then I got one more thing, uh, which is just super cute. So if you guys are like me and you can appreciate some fandom merch, you'll like this. We have a store here in Albuquerque called Box Lunch. And it's kind of like a Hot Topic and a Spencer's together, but way better. And so they have some really, really cute things. And so I only bought one thing there because it is, it's a little pricey. Oh my gosh, can't even get it out. There's a receipt. This is what I got. I got a single beanie t-shirt. <laughs> and it's so cute. It's just so cute. And it's super soft, so I had to have it. Oh, can you not see it? This is what I got. So, if you guys like me and you like Sailor Moon, they have this shirt and it's really, really cute. But I just wanted to show you guys what I went and picked up for my birthday. So, um, I will check in with you guys later. Bye. Hi, everybody. So, uh, we are in the car because now we have to run to the grocery store and to my mom's. And I'm wearing my new Sailor Moon shirt. <laughs> uh, but we have to go to my mom's house because Brandon does a... Oh my god. <laughs> What are you doing? Nothing. What are you, what are doing? you doing? I'm vlogging. Oh yeah? 
I figured I'd be in the vlog too. Do you want to say hi? Hey, what's up? Any words of wisdom? Or do you want to explain Always to them? carry a crescent wrench. A crescent wrench. That's yes, yes. So we have to go to my mom's house because Brandon does uh, electrical, <laughs> mechanical, and plumbing. Yeah, electrical, mechanical, and plumbing. And he was really nice and changed out my mom's water, water heater. Water heater. Water heater. But apparently we just got a text saying that it's leaking. So we're gonna go over there before we go to the grocery store to make sure that it's not a very big leak, I guess, right? Or yeah. bad leak? Yeah, we just don't wanna make sure, we wanna make sure that the tank itself is not leaking because we got it on discount and it was a little dented. So we gotta double check to see where it's leaking from. Because we only have 30 days to return it. So that's what we're up to. <laughs> and apparently scaring me half to death. That's my job. <laughs> Brandon and I started talking about how I need a dashboard cam. So I wanted to show you guys that I do in fact have one. I ordered this dashboard cam because it's supposed to stick to the window but the problem is, is that um, my camera, so right now I'm filming on my iPhone, but my camera, the little screw part that you attach it to is on the bottom. So when I attach it, there's not enough space for me to flip the camera up. So then the camera just basically, why don't you just put it right here? Looks at my crotch. I can't put it there because it won't stick to the dash. Cause our dash is like this leathery stuff. I've tried, it doesn't work. You said you need to stick it. Just Ooh. set it there. I don't want the camera to go flying. That's fine. What do you mean that's fine? Let's see how much it moves. Oh my god. Okay. But I do in fact have a dash thingy. Unless you're driving like a maniac, I think it'll stay there. Looks like it's just dripping just from here. So it's bad? No, it's just. This usually happens. Sometimes it won't drip when I'm here, but it'd be like a slow drip or something after. Oh. So you just gotta tighten it. That's why I said it's an easy fix. Oh. You can't even come in here to talk to me? <laughs> the fu. The <laughs> Good morning guys, so today is Saturday, September 9th. Um, so today is gonna be kind of a fun day. I'm gonna go and, if you guys can tell, get some new contacts and glasses first thing this morning and then I'm going to be meeting up with my best friend and her fiance 
and we are gonna go to a football game this evening which will be so much fun because it is New Mexico versus NMSU which is our rivals and we're gonna kick butt <laughs> so that's what we're up to today um, yeah I, I feel bad I I had a few video clips that I've been filming throughout the week but they've been so sparse and far in between that I'm all being a really good vlogger <laughs> but I wanted to check in with you guys today and just tell you what we're up to so that's what's going on Joey's being crazy today. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a good one, and I'll check in with you later. Bye. Allie. Say hi. Oh my gosh. Did you say hi to the vlog? Don't eat her ear. Hey. 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 Hi, Bubkin. Bubby cans. Hi everybody. So the last clip I think I filmed was me doing my check-in in the kitchen. I've been very good about vlogging today. But Brandon and I are on our way to meet my best friend Anne Marie and her fiance and we are gonna go to a football game. Party on, Wayne. <laughs> so, we will check in with you guys when we get there. Sunday and I have been so busy all morning I was cleaning and doing stuff around the house and then I went to lunch with my family for my birthday and then I've been shopping and I didn't think I was gonna be shopping this long but let me just show you guys all the craziness so here's some of it I bought a wreath I bought a new thing for our bathroom and then this is just massive stuff <laughs> so that's what's going on I'm gonna put all this stuff away and relax the rest of the evening, but I wanted to check in and say hi and show you guys what I've been up to. Hi everybody. So I just got done with an infusion. Um, I didn't film it because, I mean, only so many times I can film that without it looking totally the same. <laughs> that tune is just kind of, I go in, I get checked, I get done, and I leave. So. I'm leaving, uh, tired from the walk from my hospital room to the car. <sighs> Makes it so exhausting. Uh, but I wanted to kick off this vlog and say hi and welcome you guys to a new week. It is Monday uh, and so I'm going to boogie home. Uh, if you guys watched my last vlog, I showed you guys that I went shopping, so I did want to show you guys some of the new fall stuff I bought. Maybe I should actually do that in a homeware haul. Decisions. Hmm. We'll see. <laughs> uh, but I'm just headed home, but I just wanted to check in and say hi guys. I hope you're having an awesome week, and I'll see you at home. Bye! Hi guys, so I'm in the car again. I found Brandon. <laughs> We're gonna go get food, because I was only home for a second, and then we have to go to the store. And then, is that it? I think so. Is that all we're doing for Walmart and food? I think so. Yeah. So, that's just what we're up to at the moment. Why are you still shrugging? <laughs> I don't know. You saw this game, you know? <laughs> Good. Okay, so, we're on our way to go get Il Vicino. If you guys have an Il Vicino near you, they have gluten-free crust. It's really, really good. Sorry. I had hey. something in my teeth. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. Stop it. Do you see how to do it? Regular. Regular. Get regular. <laughs> Unless you can. Then, yes, of course, get the Il Vicino. You're going to hit a curb. Because you're talking to I'm right today. here. I'm looking right at it. Yeah. She is the worst side seat breaker. I... The worst. She reacts to nothing. 
she reacts when I react and she freaks out because she doesn't think that I'm reacting. But I am reacting because I have two eyes and I see when she sees. It's because he gets distracted. My feet, my foot is already on the brake when she's braking. I'm like, I'm already braking. Stop. It's because he gets distracted, guys. He'll like get distracted of where we're going and he'll just keep going in a direction. But he won't know that our turn was there. Oh, and who distracts me? <laughs> Case in point. Game set match. Check me. On that note, check in with you guys in a bit. Currently embracing pregnant belly life with new jeggings with a stretchy pregnant belly band. <laughs> I just couldn't not show you guys. I think they're funny. Good morning, everyone. We have this stupid spot to vlog from again. So I just showed you guys my new maternity jeans and they're awful. <laughs> I ordered them online and I based off my measurements and everything. And, um, they don't fit. Um, I checked the shipping information and I guess I ordered a Korean brand, which normally fits me fine. But apparently because I'm pregnant, the part of the band that's a little tighter, um, like right above the, the stretchy part, is so snug. I can't get it. I can get it over my hips. The jeans are even big on my legs. It's just that one spot. <laughs> I'm a little gutted. And um, there is other options that women do for like jeans and stuff. Like you can get this thing called a belly band. Ooh. And with the belly band, it's essentially just this stretchy piece of cloth that you put over your jeans, under your shirts, and it keeps your pants up. It's like the new alternative to maternity pants. And I want to try those too, I just haven't gotten them yet. <laughs> so there's that. And part of the reason too I haven't gotten one yet is because all of my pants, uh, because I've been losing so much weight, are so huge anyway that I would have to buy new pants to wear with the belly band. So <laughs> I'm having a struggle on pants right now. <laughs> so right now I'm wearing a dress and I'm so cold. But uh, we'll just power through. So today I'm working and I work a super long day. I have an infusion later and that's really it. I have a really late meeting so I'm going to get home pretty late tonight and then tomorrow is the same kind of schedule. I work a 12 hour day and this car behind me is riding my butt. <sighs> anyway, um, so I have two really long days and then Brandon and I are driving to Utah to see his family for four days. So it'll be a lot of fun. The drive is gonna be a little bit long. I have to say I'm not very excited about the drive. <laughs> I don't like sitting in the car that long in general. It's a nine hour drive, but the really hard part is that I have to get up and walk around every two-ish hours. And in the morning, normally what we would do, oops, when, when we leave for, to go see his family in Utah, is that we leave superbly early. I know this this angle is just awful. We leave really, really early, but in order for me to go, because I'm technically high risk right now, I had to get approval from my doctor to get my infusion done early on Friday. And then, <laughs> when we get to Utah, I have to check in with a hospital while we're there so that they know I'm there in case I need another one. And then we have to get back on time on Monday for another infusion for me. So, it's just a lot to try and squeeze into four days. But um, I'm excited to go and see his family. They're so lovely up there, so I'm excited. And yeah, that's really it. I wish I could give you guys more updates. <laughs> uh, I feel like that's really all the exciting things that are happening for the moment. You know, other than this really thrilling camera position. <laughs> But yeah, so I hope you guys are having an awesome day and I will check in with you soon.
everybody. So today is Saturday and I'm checking in because I think the last thing you guys saw was that we were at the hospital and uh, so we're actually in Utah now. I didn't film anything of us driving because it was a very long drive but so at the hospital yesterday I went for my normal infusion while my leg was swelling. They thought it was a clot. A few hours later we learned it wasn't a clot where the baby is sitting, he's cutting off my circulation, right? And so, I have to sleep on one side because it's causing some just swelling in my leg because the baby's where he's sitting. And then I've developed anemia, which is just not that surprising, to be honest. But now, we are in Utah Valley visiting Brandon's family, which is so amazing. It's so green here. <laughs> can hear our directions. So I just want to check in and give you guys an update about what we're up to. But that's what we're doing. We're going to go visit family and then put around for the day. See you guys later. Time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the boss the not on the piano. Fussy. Yeah. That, that was Bradley. Oh yeah, that's his brothers. All that's his that. brothers. Yeah. You know, I don't think I've <laughs> met a lot of... That's side of the family. I don't think you have. 